Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to reach for the skies. Hush you birds. I'm trying to record here. These crows, what's up with this? They, she pushed the record button and they went nuts. Hush. You gonna look right at the camera, buddy? So what we're going to do today is there's a limb that goes above the new greenhouse and we were going to take down the, the tree and, and Tanya's decided that she would rather keep it. So this one limb leans pretty heavily towards the greenhouse and it makes the tree pretty unshapely. It's like one big limb going out by itself. The rest of the tree is pretty, pretty nice. Maybe two little limbs we need to cut off. Anyway, the mini clip, if you guys have not seen that before in other videos, we have a mini clip that will reach up with my tractor about 16 feet in the air and you can snip off a limb that's seven, uh, seven inches in diameter. Well, this is just out of reach. There's no way we can reach it. So I got a pole saw uh, and this is a new pole saw. And the reason that we have a new pole saw because I ran over my other pole saw about two years ago with the tractor. And and never replaced it, so I picked this one up, and now we're gonna try this out. It seems to be pretty, pretty good. Just, these are chainsaws, so be careful. This one kind of, kind of neat. Kind of, kind of neat. It's kind of, kind of neat. I can't talk. What, what, what a shocker! <laughs> Anyway, so this is a kind of a neat little rig. It's two parts. You can break this part down and just you just remove the like it's, it's where the battery hooks up and you can make a little chainsaw. They've come a long way with this thing, guys. This is pretty, pretty amazing. The only thing, this one is not an automatic oiler. Every once in a while, you have to push your thumb on this little uh, nipple here to press oil into it so it, it will charge. Obviously, it's not going to work now because it don't have a battery. Battery is on the stick. So you can move the battery to here and from here to there. Anyway. Let's don't talk about this no more and let's go cut some limbs down. I will say that the man basket has been one of the most useful tools. If you're developing a homestead and you've got a tractor and a set of forks, this is a pretty substantial man basket. They make smaller ones. But this has been the most helpful thing. We use it to build the greenhouse. We use it to build uh, the pole barn. We've used it for about everything that we've done. Pretty simple, but it seems to work. All right, go down here. Now what I'm gonna do is like, instead of having one big piece fall off, I'm gonna like take little pieces along the way. This is... I'm in there. Gizmo looked at me like, whoa! Ha! That's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of this big one down. I mean, the wind is perfect. I couldn't plan this no better to throw the sawdust back in my face. What was that? Sweet. So another thing you gotta do with this one though is every once in a while you gotta come up here and push a little primer button up here to push oil into it. Cause like I said, it's it's not an automatic oiler. Why do we put you down? Cause we need to come at this angle so I can get that one, but I need to be away from it. I'm gonna cut it off even, probably need to come from the other side. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right, let's see. I'm gonna try to cut these off so that other one will fall straight down. Let's see. Okay. 
The elm is a very hard tree. And this little saw running on a 20 volt, 21 volt it says, battery is doing pretty good. Oh, perfect, that's what I wanted to happen. I wanted to just kind of hinge down and not hit my fence. That was always my worry. This one may hit, but it's quite a bit lighter. Huh? No, nah, it should go straight down. See so I stop and let it hinge. And that weren't what I want to happen. No, nah, it didn't hurt it, but boy, I was, I was puckered for a quick second. <laughs> All right, here comes a test. I'm going to start chopping this big one off. Can you be closer? No, I don't want to be closer. I just got to let it sit here and let it grind, I guess. It's pulling good chips. I'm not pushing down at all, I'm just letting the saw cut it at its own pace. It's got like an eight inch bar on it. Probably 10, I don't know, eight, I think it's eight. Probably should read the directions on this stuff. Damn. I don't know if I can cut that off the other one off of this. It is only eight inch. But it that's probably a good six inches around right there. Okay, um I think what you do is just go forward and swing around to the left where I can get behind this one and cut that other one off right there. A little bit more. Okay, it's good. Shut it down. Shut it down. I'm gonna go ahead and, I had pumped that oil primer for a little bit. That was pretty good. Tree I just cut off. Like I said, elm is tough. Good size limb right there. Okay, um, I think what I need you to do is set me down and then take the tractor around. So, this uh, saw is called a Emdom Live. Never heard of it, but it's an Amazon find. And if for me, if we had to pay somebody to come out here and do this, it would cost a whole lot more than buying this little thing. Obviously, you gotta have a tractor and a man basket, but we already have those things, so. If you have those things, it's not a bad little gig here. Ooh. All right, here we go. This is asking a whole lot from this saw. Okay, my 
angle is not right, and I, I remember that you can adjust the angle a little bit. I'm not surprised when it shuts off. You just have to let it reset and you know cool off a second. And for me, like I said, it's worth it for, for doing this. Hope the, I don't know if the battery, let's see. Battery still got two bars. Like I said, it's not meant to do this. This is way overkill, but like I said, if I burn this up, it's well worth the money. Because if you was to pay somebody to come out and cut this off, it's probably cost, you know, I, I bet it cost $2,000 somebody come out here in a, one of those little man lifts. I, it's the blade's not long enough. Not probably the healthiest thing to do for that limb, but I don't like this tree anyway. <laughs> she wants to keep it. Well, if you want to see more stuff like this, check out the video right here. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to reach for the skies. 